And I'm going to rename it from TBS Wireless to Toggle Wi-Fi. Hello friends, quick video to help you out. If you have an older Toshiba laptop, you put Windows 10 on it, and the Wi-Fi stops working permanently in Windows 10, and you can't get the thing to work for the life of you. No matter what you install from Toshiba's website, no matter how many times you hit the wireless button, Toshiba will not allow you to get on Wi-Fi, but it worked on Windows 7, and it maybe worked on Windows 8, and it works in Linux if you boot to Linux, but it doesn't work on Windows 10. Here's how you can get your Wi-Fi turned back on. Go to, oh I'm sorry, Dynabook's website. But you can type Toshiba, satellite, whatever, drivers, and you'll be able to find the page. In this case, we have a P775-S7215. And the problem was that when you'd go down here in the corner and you'd pop the Wi-Fi, you would get this. You would get this. Wi-Fi is dead. So, what do you do? You need to install a tool on the website called the Toshiba Flashcard Support Utility. If you do not have that, you can also go and snatch the Toshiba Value Added Package. The TVAP comes with flashcards. You see this here. It provides additional hotkey functionality. You need this flashcards utility. No matter what else you do, you've got to have that installed. So Toshiba flashcards, function key. If you get the TVAP, you're good to go. So install the Toshiba value added package. And then you have to do something a little bit uncomfortable. See, this is function key. That's all fine and great. How about the flashcards? I'm gonna run that just to show you because I've killed it in the background. That wasn't flashcards. Here, let's do this. Flashcards. There we go. Flashcards. Okay, that's cool. Now, normally you would hit this, and that just turns on airplane mode. That does absolutely nothing to help us, right? Boop. Uh, airplane mode off. Wi-Fi is still dead. All right, so there's a function key combo, function F8. It doesn't work. So here's the trick. If you dig around, you can find information online about tbswireless.exe. Now, here's a problem. If you run under Toshiba here, if you run this one that's under hotkey button support, this one, Program Files Toshiba Hotkey Button Support, doesn't work. You have to run the flashcards one. If you run the flashcards one, you see it says on, and now we go down here, and what happens if we clicky, and it worked. We see wireless networks in the list. So, the other question is, does it work across reboots? And in fact, I haven't tested this, but we are about to find out. But you, you need to install the Toshiba value added package for your computer before you'll be able to do this. We're gonna do a quick restart and we're gonna see if it continues to work after a reboot. I really like these computers, these P775s. Uh, they're a little dated now, but I actually, this is not my computer, but this laptop is identical to the first nice new laptop that I ever bought for myself. Exact same model. So I kind of have a soft spot for this and it kind of makes me mad. My opinion of Toshiba soured over the years and then they vanished from the US market and then they were sold to someone else and became Dynabook. So I'm a little bit sad that Toshiba turned out to be such a pile of garbage. Uh, but what are you going to do? All the manufacturers have their bad spots. This is just one for Toshiba. So this clean Windows 10 install is coming up. Yep, that's right. A clean install didn't fix it. Please wait. Now, will we have Wi-Fi? Well, it looks like the Wi-Fi light's on here. So we should have Wi-Fi now. Tell me all about your problems, Mr. Network. And indeed, it appears to have persisted across reboots. You weren't far enough. You couldn't see that. Yep. 
it appears to have worked. Now, the only other problem, if a customer has an issue, they're not going to be able to fix this themselves. It is way too much trouble. So here's what we're going to do. New shortcut. Okay? New shortcut. We're going to browse. Come on, buddy. Browse. There you go. And we're going to go to this PC, C, Program Files, Toshiba. Remember, we need the one under flashcards, not hotkey. Flashcards. And then, see all this fun stuff? Uh, was it under another one? Was it under flashcards hotkey? Was it? See, I don't remember. I, I could go digging again. Maybe it was under button support. In fact, that does sound right. There it is, TBS Wireless. Okay. 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 Now we have a toggle. And I'm going to rename it from TBS Wireless to Toggle Wi-Fi. And we'll just call it Toggle Wi-Fi. So Toggle Wi-Fi here, if we double click it, it hits function F8. See off? Now if we go down here, it's dead. So the problem is the function key doesn't work. The filter driver or something doesn't work. It doesn't filter the keyboard keys. So you have to use the thing that that function key would actually execute on to make it work. And boom, we have Wi-Fi. Okay. So now I know how to fix it and I can complete this job, get it back to the customer, and the customer will have a working computer again. Um, they'll, have, they'll be able to have Wi-Fi. Um, we're doing an SSD upgrade on this one. I I'd show you, but well, here, just look at this nonsense. Um, underneath this, while we're here, yeah, I just have a hard drive dangling because it's literally one screw. You have one screw, and then the hard drive's not even screwed in. So yeah, it, it's it's not it's not a difficult machine at all to put a hard hard drive or solid state in. It's pretty darn easy. All right, I hope this has helped. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.